Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Shakriyar Mamejarov and Maxim Vachyalagrav. This is a game from BL Tournament, played in 2018. Shakriyar Mamejarov had white pieces and he started with knight to f3, c5, Sicilian invitation, c4. If e4, we would have a Sicilian defense. C4. Mamejaro wants to play the English opening. Knight to c6, knight to c3, symmetrical English. E5, preventing d4. E3, preparing d4. Knight to f6, d4. And now, e4 attack in the knight. Knight to e5, g6. g4, threatening g5, and then knight takes pawn on e4 h6, bishop to g2, bishop to g7, white to move. h3 was played, h4, castling, and bishop takes on e4 was seen before. h3, this is a newish move. queen to e7, b3 intending bishop to b2, c takes on d4, e takes on d4, Knight takes on e5, d takes on e5, queen takes on e5. Black is a pawn up. Bishop to b2, d5, queen to e2, defending the bishop on b2. Queen to e7, if castling, then knight takes on d5. Discovered attack on the black queen. Queen to e7, c takes on d5, and both players castle king's side. Rook to e8, more protection to the pawn on e4. Rook from f to e1, more pressure on the pawn. Bishop to d7, white to move. The question is, can white take on e4? Would you? Mamejarov did. Knight takes on e4. Knight takes on e4, white to move. White has only one good move in this position, and that is bishop takes on g7. King takes bishop, queen takes on e4, queen takes on e4, bishop takes on e4. Things have changed. Now white is a pawn up, and we have reached the end game. Can black do something? h5 was played. g takes on h5. G takes on h5, black is threatening, bishop takes on h3. h4, well, king to h2 was also a good move. h4 was played, the pawn can't be now captured by black, light squared bishop, unless you give this position to small kids. Rook from a to c8, naturally fighting for the open file. Bishop to f3, attacking the pawn on h5. Black to move. Rook takes rook, check. Rook to g8, would follow the general rule. If you have less pieces, don't exchange them. Rook takes rook, check. Rook takes rook. King to f6, approaching the pawn on d file. d6, if bishop takes on h5, then rook to g8 check, and after king to f1, rook to h8, attacking the bishop and x-raying the pawn on h file. Back to our game. d6, b6, let's take it back. How about rook to c2? If black plays rook to c2, white has many options. The three main options are a4, rook to e2, and even rook to e7. Back to our game. b6 was played. Rook to e7, attacking the bishop. Rook to d8, bishop takes pawn on h5. Lagrange lost the second pawn, and now he needs a miracle. Bishop to e6. Saving the a pawn, 
has a downside. Rook takes on f7. Bishop to e6. Rook takes pawn on a7. Rook takes pawn on d6. King to g2. Rook to d8. Bishop to f3. King to e5. White to move. White played a move and the black resigned. And the move is rook to a4. Lagrave resigned. One line goes like this. Please note this is not the only line. King to f6, getting closer to the h pawn. Rook to b4, attacking the pawn on b6, defending the pawn. King to g3, king to g7, bishop to g4. Bishop takes on g4, king takes on g4, king to g6, rook to b5, king to h6, a4, intending b4 and a5. Check, rook to g5 is immediately possible, king to h3, rook to f6, b4, if rook takes on f2, rook takes on b6, check. If king to g7, just waiting, then king to g4, if check now, rook to g5, king to h6, rook takes on g6, king takes on g6, and now white plays the obvious, a5, b takes on a5, b takes on a5, and the a pawn can't be stopped. Lagrave didn't want to go through all this, so he resigned. In this position. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.